So next, what we are going to explore is uh, grouping. Or we can call that going from kernel map to groups. So it's step three. There are some rules uh, for grouping and I will uh, tell you what are they right now. So it's step three. I'm describing step three. Going from uh, we already have kernel maps, and we want uh, uh, perform grouping on that. So several videos ago, I when I showed the first example of uh, kernel map technique, I showed you some grouping, but I didn't describe the rules of grouping, and uh, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. So rules are the following. Uh, first one. Groups should be rectangular. They should be rectangular only. Then next rule. Uh, groups should consist of one cell or two cells or four eight, sixteen, and so on and so forth. Thirty-two, sixty-four, and so on. Uh, that's uh, how many cells could be in one group. And as you see, it's the, it's the powers of two. So it's the two in the power of something. Uh, then, next rule. Uh, there should be as minimum groups as possible. minimum number of groups and next rule is that each group should be as big as possible And uh, also there are some, they are also part of the rules, but I will uh, uh, use another color. They are not required, but they are possible. It's possible to have this. For example, another one, uh, overlapping is possible of each group, of one group over another. Overlapping is okay. And the last one would be that you can go uh, around the boundaries. And I will show you what this means. Uh, going around the is okay and to explain a bit more overlapping means as I said before when you have one group and in order to make another group bigger you can overlap it over the first one and you can have as much overlapping as possible but you should remember that the goal is to have minimum number of groups and then uh, going around, bound, around the boundaries, it's uh, another idea. This means that you can group uh, in this way. You can group this one, go around the boundaries, and group this one. And this is like in, uh, in Pac-Man game. If you played Pac-Man uh, on each map, if you go uh, below the boundary or above the boundary, for example, or to the right of the boundary, let's say you have your Pac-Man, and you go there, and then you suddenly realize that you are actually here. So that's what I call uh, going around the boundary. So this is like if you went from one side, and suddenly you are on the other side. And that's 
the same up from top to bottom uh, and so on. So in this case the same. Uh, if you, you can uh, group as follows like this and like this assuming that this is one group that goes around the boundaries that doesn't make much sense in such a small uh, kernel map but in bigger kernel map it will make a lot of sense so let's let's uh, group again uh, this small uh, kernel map so what we can do say we can group it uh, first what we can think of like one two three that would be wrong, but I want to show you the, why it is wrong. First, well, it's rectangular. Well, I mean, one cell is a rectangle. Is a rectangle, so all these three groups are rectangular. Then uh, one is a possible number of group. So next requirement: minimum number of groups. And here, when we see that we screwed up we actually might had uh, had less groups so this requirement we failed right now so let, let's redo that let's so now we know that minimum number of groups uh, should be number of groups should be as low as possible so we can make two well I don't see how to make less groups here I think it's not possible because if you group it like this then uh, these two rules will be violated. It's not rectangular and uh, it's not in the list of numbers uh, of number of cells allowed. So that this is not allowed. So you can have uh, one group uh, like this and one group like this. And that means you will satisfy the minimum number of group requirements. So, but what we have next, each group as big as possible. Well, this group is, I see, it's, uh, it's as big as possible. It couldn't be any bigger. But this one, this could be bigger if you have overlapping. We know that overlapping is allowed. That means that uh, this would be a grouping solution for this uh, for this exact uh, kernel map and I will uh, make it in green so it was step 3 grouping and so we grouped this small kernel map like this and step 4 will be getting expression out of this group but now on, in this video we will practice uh, grouping next uh, let's go to our second kernel map here we have a lot of ones and so how can we group them? Say, we know uh, that the groups should be rectangular, right? And they should be as big as possible. And there should be, uh, the number of groups should be as small as possible. So what we can do? Uh, we cannot group uh, eight. Uh, eight cells because we have zero here and this uh, spoils everything yeah that's a pity so we need to search for four cell groups rectangular groups I see this one let's group it like this this is pretty valid then next group could be the same square group but to the left this is also a pretty good group and the next one we could make uh, say like this yeah but you see uh, actually when you just start it's it might be difficult to you to see where where you can benefit from overlapping but actually you can see that uh, in in the ideal case you should do like this because one of the requirements is that each group should be as big as possible that means 
even though you have three groups, the best and the only one best solution will be a solution where each group is as big as possible. So in this case, we have group grouped. Uh, we created three groups here uh, in this uh, kernel map. And next we will practice a bit more uh, grouping on other kernel maps, on other examples.